Hi friends, now I am going to discuss about basic electricity part 1. This video will cover at least 2 marks. Okay. First of all, the first topic is electric current and Ohm's law. First of all, what is electric current? Electric current is nothing but flow of electrons. Flow of electrons or rate of flow of electrons or charge that is I it is the current electric current is denoted by I I equal to dQ by dt I equal to dQ by dt the units units are very very important units for uh, Q means charge for char uh, units of charge is coulombs and for the uh, units of time is seconds so coulombs per second are nothing but amps nothing but amps so the units of electric current is Coulombs per second are amps. Next one. What is electric potential? What is electric potential? It is nothing but work done on a unit positive charge. Work done on a unit positive charge. V equal to W by Q. W is nothing but work done. Q is nothing but charge. The units of this whole, uh, electrical potential is for work units are joules. For charge units are coulomb so the total units for uh, potential is joule per coulomb or nothing but volts okay nothing but volts next resistance what is resistance what is resistance all of you know uh, about resistance the resistance is one which opposes the flow of current it is denoted by the symbol uh, symbol R okay the units are ohms and the resistance r equal to rho l by a what is the rho rho is nothing but specific resistance specific resistance the units of specific resistance is ohm meter ohm meter it is very very important units of specific resistance is is ohm meter okay a is area of cross section l is length that means the resistance is depends on length of the wire and a cross section a area of cross section and it is also depends upon nature of material and also depends upon temperature of the conductors uh, we will discuss uh, uh, how it varies with the temperature okay next the temperature coefficient of resistance the temperature coefficient of resistance it is denoted by alpha here alpha equal to rt minus r naught by r naught into t here rt is resistance at t degree centigrade r naught is resistance at 0 degree centigrade we can convert it for uh, convert this formula into rt equal to r naught into 1 plus alpha naught into t okay the units of this temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is per degree centigrade it is also one of the important bit okay next positive temperature coefficient of resistance positive temperature coefficient of resistance as the temperature of material is increases then the resistance also increases then it is called positive temperature coefficient of resistance okay for example metals like copper aluminium etc okay for this metals when the temperature of this material increases the resistance also increases that's why they are called positive temperature coefficients okay next one negative temperature coefficient of resistance when the temperature of the material increases the resistance will decreases then it is called negative temperature coefficient that means when the temperature increases the resistance of material will decrease that for example insulators electrolytes in case of insulators uh, when we increase the temperature the resistance uh, is decreases so that's why they are called negative temperature coefficients next uh, one of the important one zero temperature coefficient of resistance that means uh, here uh, the resistance is constant with temperature that means as temperature increases resistance also constant as temperature decreases then only the resistance uh, is constant the uh, example is eureka and manganin here one important bit is for 
uh, important bit is zero co uh, temperature coefficient resistance of materials is uh, material is dash nothing but manganese or eureka okay uh, next bit is uh, for pure metals temperature per resistance graph is dash it is straight line temperature it is temperature it is resistance when we draw the graph between temperature and resistance for pure metals it is straight line it is straight line next topic is nothing but ohm's law ohm's law it is uh, ohm's law is very important topic ohm's law the ohm's law is at constant temperature at constant temperature the current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage at constant temperature the current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage uh, it is the simplified form of ohm's law is nothing but v equal to i into r v equal to i into r ohm's law is applicable to good conductors uh, the main important bits in this ohm's law are uh, ohm's law does not applicable to what does not applicable to what that is ohm's law not applicable to electrolytes vacuum tubes and gas filled tubes arc lamps semiconductors metals which get heated up which get heated up uh, for all these ohm's law not applicable or not holds good it is very very important bit okay uh, one of the previous uh, bit asked in tta exam is for which of the following ohm's law does not holds good options are given semiconductors vacuum tubes arc lamps the uh, for the, all these the ohm's law does not applicable so the answer is all the above the answer is all the above next topic work power and energy work power and energy first of all what is work work is nothing but work equal to force into distance work equal to force into distance that is w equal to f into d the units of work is nothing but joules or newton meter joules or new newton meter the units are very very important in this uh, TTA exam okay next one power power is nothing but rate of doing work power is rate of doing work so power p equal to work by time that is the units uh, for power is for work units are joules for time it is seconds so units are joule per second or newton meter per second okay now coming to the electric power electric power is nothing but the product of voltage and current the product of voltage and current so p equal to v into i nothing but uh, v equal to ir so when we apply v equal to ir here that equal to i square r that equal to v square by r the units of electric power watts okay and the practical unit of power is HP, horsepower. One horsepower equal to 735.5 watts. Okay. It is also one of the important bit. Okay. Next, coming to the energy. Energy is capacity of a body to do the work. The units of energy, joules are watt seconds or kilowatt hour. Okay. In case of electrical energy equal to product of power into time uh, for prod, uh, for power p equal to v into i so the energy equal to v into i into t next one the practical unit of ener electrical energy the practical unit of electric 
chemical energy is nothing but kilowatt hour kilowatt hour it is very very important topic kilowatt hour 1 kilowatt hour equal to 1000 watt hours okay when kilowatt is converted into watts it is 1000 watt hour when hour is converted into seconds hour is converted into seconds that is 1000 into 1 hour equal to 3600 seconds so 1000 into 3600 watt seconds it is converted into 36 into 10 power 5 watt seconds that is 3.6 into 10 power 6 watt seconds uh, watt seconds when it is converted into kilocalories that is 1 kilowatt hour equal to 860 kilocalories 860 kilocalories it is also one of the important bit 1 kilowatt hour equal to 860 kilocalories next one of the previous bit asked in uh, TTA exam is question is a 100 watts bulb is used for 5 hours a day what is monthly electricity bill at the rate of s3.50 assuming 30 days in a month assuming 30 days in a month here given the capacity of bulb that is 100 watts when it is converted into kilowatts it is 100 into 10 power minus 3 kilowatts the total hours total hours is given 5 hours a day and 30 days in month so that means total hours is 30 into 5 that is nothing but 150 hours 150 hours and for calculating the bill uh, we have to total units the total units are nothing but the capacity of bulb nothing but 100 into 10 power minus 3 and the total hours because one unit equal to 1 kilowatt hour so uh, watts into hours so that means 1 kilowatt uh, 1000 into 10 power minus 3 into hour hours is nothing but 150 hours so that is nothing but 15 units the total units are 15 units but the rate given uh, 3.5 rupees for one unit so total bill is for uh, bill for uh, 15 units 15 into 3.50 that is nothing but 52.5 rupees the, so the answer is c okay so the answer is c next uh, the last and small topic joule's law of electric heating what is joule's law of electric heating it is heat produced is proportional to current squares and it is proportional to resistance and it is proportional to the time so the simplified form of joule's law is h is proportional to i square rt h is proportional to i square rt okay thank you friends